Commodities have taken investors on a rough ride in recent weeks, but they got a big boost today with some Eurozone banking optimism. Oil up 2%, gold 1670. A little rally there. Let's go right to famed investor Jim Rogers to weigh in, my great friend. Jimmy, let me just ask you uh, if the Europeans have figured out they're saving the bank Dexia, they know how to backstop it, they're going to stop a disastrous contagion. Are we on the verge of a major global stock market rally? I mean, major, like 10%. 10, 15 percent. Well, maybe 10 percent. I don't consider that major, Larry. I'm not a very good short-term trader. Not at all. But what they're doing in Europe is not saving the system. It's saving the day, but it's not saving the system. Just pumping up and bailing out another failed bank is not the solution. Let them fail. That's the solution. Jimmy Rogers, you know full well if they let these banks fail. Now, I'm not talking about Greece. The government of Greece is going to default. But you know as well as I do, if you let these banks fail willy-nilly without any backstop, without any guarantees, then the whole world would go down. The entire world economy would go down. You, you, commodities would go along with it. You know they can't do that, Jimmy. I'm much more of a capitalist than you are, Larry, I'm afraid. You know, I would let them fail. Yes, you can ring fence them if you have to. You can put them all in a room and say, you're going to fail, you're going to survive, and you're gonna, we're going to work with you. Yes, you can do that to make sure people's checks still clear and the money deposits are right. good. But why do you bail out stockholders? Why do you bail out bondholders? Let them fail, Larry. No, you can do it. No, it's the, ring, it's, the, it's, it's the ring fence that I'm talking about. So I guess they're on the same page. So with the possibility that the ring fence is being constructed, are you a buyer of commodities? Commodities have gotten killed. Now they're coming back. What's your take? Well, I own commodities. I'm short stocks, as we've discussed before. I, I, and stocks went up a lot today, as, as you know. Uh, I still maintain that this is the best position to be in. Larry, if things continue to get bad, they're going to print more money. That's all Bernanke knows to do. He's going to print more money, and you better own real assets at a time like that. I actually think the ECB and the Fed's going to print more money. We're going to have massive quantitative easing to get out of this crisis, Jimmy. If that is the case, if both the Fed and the ECB go into QE mode, what's your favorite investment? Well, agricultural commodities is where I would be. I, I've told you this before. But Larry, they're already in QE, at least the Fed is. When Bernanke said in early August, we're going to keep interest rates low. Larry, the only way you do that is you go into the market and you force them down. He's already in the market. He's lying about it. Look at the, if you get out the M2 numbers, Larry, from the first week of August, you see they've jumped up as soon as he said that and they've stayed high and are going higher. He's in the market. They're lying to us again, Larry. Come on, you're, you're a Princeton graduate. You should know how they do it. I do. I do. And I basically agree with you, Jimmy Rogers. I'm sorry I'm flat out of time, but I basically agree.